자, 그럼 1월 5일 목요일 모닝 헤드라인스 뉴스카스트 레이와 함께 시작합니다. 프라이낸스 미니스트리 has unveiled a set of measures to stabilize prices ahead of the Lunar New Year holiday, including plans to increase the supply of high-demand goods and waive expressway toll fees during the four-day holiday. 계획지 정부는 설을 앞두고 성수품 공급 확대 및 연휴 기간 고속도로 통행료 면제 등 일련의 설 민생 안정 대책을 발표했습니다. Health experts in the U.S. have warned that the Omicron descendant XBB15 could drive a new surge of COVID cases in the country due to it being more infectious and highly immune evasive. 전염성이 더 강해지고 면역 회피 능력이 뛰어난 새 오미크론 하위 변이 XBB1.5가 미국에서 빠르게 확산해 새로운 유행 가능성이 우려된다고 미국 내 보건 전문가들이 경고했습니다. The CES, or Consumer Electronics Show, the biggest tech trade show of the year, kicks off today in Las Vegas. Setting the stage for trends, announcements, and ascendant product categories we'll see throughout the rest of 2023. 세계 최대 규모의 가전 및 정보 기술 박람회인 CES 2023이 오늘 미국 라스베이거스에서 열립니다. 올 한해에 접하게 될 트렌드, 신제품, 새롭게 떠오르는 분야들이 이 자리에서 선보이게 됩니다. Cultural relics presumed to belong to the Goryeo dynasty have been discovered in the former presidential compound of Cheonghwa Day in central Seoul, with researchers pointing out the need for a historical evaluation of the site. 서울 도심에 있는 청와대 권역에서 고려 시대 것으로 추정되는 유물이 발견됐습니다. 이에 학자들은 해당 영역의 역사적 감정이 필요하다고 지적했습니다. Olivia Hussey and Leonard Whitting, the lead actors of the 1968 film Romeo and Juliet, have filed a lawsuit against Paramount Pictures for sexually exploiting them and distributing nude images of adolescent children. 1968년 영화 로미오와 줄리엣의 두 주연 배우 올리비아 하세와 레너드 와이팅이 당시 제작사인 파라마운트 영화사를 성착취 및 미성년자 나체 장면 유포 혐의로 고소했습니다. Morning headline expressions. Let's have a look at our key expressions from the headlines. The first one was to stabilize something. When you stabilize something, you make it stable, yeah. meaning it's not going to change. Yeah, it's, it's not, not going to fluctuate. Moving up and down. Yeah, exactly. Stable. Stay the same mm -hmm. or relatively the same. So yeah. in this case, we are talking about prices mm -hmm. of 16 high demand goods over the holiday. So yep. the government doesn't want those prices to spike. Exactly. I don't think they'd mind if the prices went down. <laughs> I don't think that's what's going to happen. Mm, stay Stabilize, 안정시키다라는 의미가 있어서요. To stabilize prices라고 하면은 가격의 안정을 이제 도모한다는 뜻이 되겠고, 물론 이제 여러 가지 민생 안전 아, 안정 네 대책에 대한 얘기였습니다. Not 안전, but 안정. Stabilize. 자그 다음에 evasive라는 표현은요. Ooh, if someone is evasive, they avoid something that they don't want, so they. You know, they might avoid being attacked. They might avoid being captured. Like I, anyone out there who has a pet cat, when the cat wants to sit on you and be pet, they're mm -hmm. lovely. But a lot of cats at times, if they don't want you to touch them or pet them, they right. are extremely <clears throat> Evasive. Yeah, and you mentioned um, earlier on, you know, at a public hearing or something, okay. a politician Ooh. might be asked a question they don't want to answer, and so they will be quite evasive. Right, and they'll then, avoid yeah. directly answering that mm. question. Good. Yeah, you'll see that a lot. 네, 질문을 피할 경우에도 이 표현을 쓸 수가 있습니다. 그래서 evasive는 회피한다라는 느낌으로 이해하시면 되겠어요. Immune evasive는 면역 회피 어, 그 력이 있다. 뭐 이런 의미로 보시면 되겠고. Highly immune. Highly. 네, 그래요. 자, 그 다음에 to set the stage for something. Mm, set the stage for something. To prepare something mm. ahead of a bigger event. Right. Um, in, in the case we were looking at today, I think that meant literally to provide 
a stage or a platform mm. to introduce and show off new products. 그쵸. Give us a glimpse. Give the public a glimpse what 음. we're going to be able to buy eventually. 네. Set the stage for something. 약간 뭐 멍석을 까는 느낌도 있는 것 같고 무대를 마련해 주는 거니까 어, 이런 것을 선보인다라고도 볼수 있어요. 바로 라스베이거스의 CES에 대한 얘기였는데 여러 가지 테크 어뭐 이제 제품들 이런 것들이 거기에서 선보여지게 됩니다. 자, 그 다음에는요. To point out something. Mm, when you point something out, you yeah. mention something. Mm. Usually some, some fact that you think mm. someone else who you're talking to isn't aware of that. Mm-hmm. They don't know that, so you you mention it to them. Like when we talk about stories, uh, news stories about Canada, sometimes I'll point out aspects of the story that maybe aren't mentioned right. or were breezed over. Mm. When we talk about Korean issues, you'll point out a lot of things to me that I'll miss mm. in the English articles or I won't understand what they meant by it and 음. then you'll point that out for me. 네, 맞아요. 그래서 지적하다라는 의미로 to point out 라고 얘기를 할수 있습니다. 우리 청취자분들이 항상 예리하게 이런저런 점들을 또 point out 해주시는데요. 항상 감사합니다. <웃음> 자, 다음에 exploit는 뭘까요? Yeah, exploit is not a good word. It means to take advantage of somebody, 음. to use them for your own gain. Right. A lot of times it's used making people work more yeah. than what they're contracted to work. 네, 네. 착취라는 의미로 exploit라고 할수 있습니다. All right, well, that's going to be the main expressions from the headlines. 자, morning headline expressions는요, 오디오 어학당과 유튜브에서 무료로 다시 듣게 하실 수 있습니다.